Well, hello, everybody. This is John Michael. You know, today's gospel says that Herod was puzzled about Jesus. He thought he'd taken care of this religious problem with John the Baptist, and here is Jesus showing up right away. Some translations say he was curious about Jesus. I think this is really important for us because a lot of us, you know, we're curious about Jesus. There are a lot of people that are curious about Jesus. You talk about Jesus and a lot of people will go, oh yeah, baby, I'm all for Jesus, but I don't like this Christian thing. See, so we like Jesus as long as we can kind of make him according to our image. And we rightly suspect that we don't fully understand him, but then we tend to make him according to our idea so that we don't have to change. We can believe in God, we can believe in Jesus, we can be cool. We don't have to change the way we're living. The real Jesus demanded of his disciples that they leave everything and follow him, their possessions, their relationship patterns, and even their self-identity. Jesus says, leave everything and follow me. It's not enough just to be curious. Oh, it's good to be attracted to Jesus, but it's not enough just to stay at curiosity. We have to make that journey from being curious to being disciples. So today, are we making that journey? Are we making the journey from the curious to the disciple? I encourage you to do it. You know, when you lose everything, you gain everything. Evagrius Ponticus says, renounce all to gain everything. You leave your old self, you gain a whole new person that's happier than ever before. The person God really made you to be when he created you, is born again, rediscovered, and you become blessed in God through Jesus. So make that journey from mere curiosity to real discipleship. Love you guys, and uh, talk to you next time. Bye-bye.